Welcome everybody to Six Flags Great America. Dad we are here again. St. Louis. We're still in St. Louis? Yeah. Oh, hold on one second. Ah, oh, that's better. Oh. We are now here at Six Flags Great America. Woo! We are ready for a spectacular day. We are parked in the front row of the preferred parking. Here's the max force we're gonna try to get on. There's already a big, massive group of people over here waiting to get in, so that's a little alarming because the park doesn't open for about 30 minutes, but I know they let people in early. So we need to book it over there and have some fun. We're in the member entrance line. Should be letting us in fairly soon. All right, we're in. The park doesn't officially open for like 10 minutes, but we're in line for max force. We want to feel the force. So, Caleb, I was just thinking, tomorrow at this time, you'll be in school. What? Tomorrow at this time, you'll be in school. How does that make you feel? Wait, tomorrow I have to go to school? You do. Apparently, school has not started here in Great America either, because there are a million kids, and it is super crowded. Wow, it's going to be a busy day. We just felt the force of the max. Well, it's a force, okay. 78 mile launch, tallest double inversion in the world. What'd you think? I have butterflies in my stomach. I'm like Really, shaking. really fun. It's only like a 32 second ride, but it is really fun. I wish they told you when you were gonna blast Yeah, you're just kind of sitting there and then they just blast you off without any warning. Wow. <laughs> but I would do that again if the line wasn't so long, but maybe next year. Caleb and I just rode the Roaring Rapids. We thought we'd get in and out quick because the line wasn't long. But the loading and unloading process for this ride took absolutely forever. Oh my God. So now we wasted over 35 minutes on that. But it was a fun ride. It was just, I don't know what the deal was trying to get on and off that ride. It took forever. What'd you think, Caleb? I loved it. Yep, but it was a good ride, and we're off to the next. I didn't get squashed too much. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't really get too wet. Right now, the Joker is not operational. So, it's a good thing we didn't want to go on the Joker. But I am dying to fill up my drink. Okay, Caleb and I just rode the Little Dipper, this little white one here. It was built in 1950. That's one of the oldest roller coasters we've ever been on, probably. Oh, here comes the Batman. Same Batman as we have, I think, pretty much, so we're not gonna hit that one. But uh, this little dipper is just like a little tiny miniature screaming eagle. What do you think, Caleb? It's not jerky. It's, it's about, what, 40 seconds long? Another coaster credit for us. workshop. You're a wizard, Caleb. Really? Yes. Conjure up a Patronum. Expecto Patronum. Here's the vertical velocity. We've never been on that. Maybe someday. Here's the go-kart track. That's an extra charge. Cartoon cabin. So... There's a Moose Burger Lodge. We have one of these at our Six Flags. All right, we are heading into the American Eagle. They're only operating the red side, so we're not gonna get to race, which is a bummer, because that's what makes the ride fun. But, uh, well, we 
We got to the front and the ride broke down. We waited about 15 minutes or so and we decided to leave the line so we didn't get to go on American Eagle at the moment. Ugh, very disappointing. But we will survive. Here comes flight. The ride Kayla is dying to go on. What do you say? No. Not feeling it. All right. We're here in the food court. They do have a macho nacho and a chop six. I did not know that. And we're gonna have our regular chicken tenders. Here we go. All right, this was fine. Nothing special, same exact meal we have at St. Louis all the time, because of this guy. But we are heading to the log ride. I said we always have chicken tenders, because of you. Yay! But we're heading over to the log ride, because it opens in 10 minutes. I don't really know why they stagger their openings here, and why they, some rides open later than others. But small gripe, but here we go. There's the Galah. We rode that last night. Fantastic RMC. It's kind of a light day here com compared to what Great America usually is. I think maybe kids are in school. So, I don't remember where the entrance to this ride is. Do you remember, Caleb? The entrance, yes. It's over here somewhere. Okay. Then the loggers run. Oh, here he comes. Is he going to undo their chain? Alright, well, we just got drenched from the loggers run. The ride broke down as we were waiting in line, so we had to wait like 20 minutes on this ride. But we got to go on it. We were really close to leaving the line. But luckily they got it fixed. I want to hug the maintenance man that came over and fixed it. So, man, the line right now is ridiculous. So, luckily we got on it when we did. We're getting a snow mixer. Caleb has got the biggest snow cone I've ever seen. And he's put every flavor on it. Okay, here's a straw. If I drop this, yeah. will, you, will you kill me? Yeah. All right, go for it. How's the snow mixer? How is it? Whoa. Heaven? That's a new flavor. I love it. <laughs> Looks like the train is not operational. So we are going to check out the member lounge since we're members. Let's do it. Looks like they also sell a VIP tour for 200 bucks. You get front of the line access for everything and all kinds of dinner and stuff. But, all right, Caleb just found a penny. Let's go luck. Let's go into our member lounge. We're in the lounge. Caleb found another penny. We should have eaten in here. We could have just walked up and got something to eat. Oh man, they have freestyle machines, they have charging stations, we're just going to lounge. They got TVs in here, oh, how does it feel to lounge? We lounging? This is what we need at Six Flags St. Louis. Here's a fireman's pole. I wonder if there's a bathroom in here too. Let's see one. Yeah, this is nice. They got like couches and tables. All for us. And Caleb's eating the biggest snow cone ever made. Alright, that lounge is really cool. Looks like they're doing some painting up here. It's kind of empty through here. Feels nice and warm, even though we're still soaking wet from the loggers run. 
So we're gonna head over to the fast pass processing and get our free fast pass. All right, we just got our free fast pass. Do we get it for Superman? No. Do we get it for Raging Bull? No. Do we get it for Flight? No. We got it for the Dark Knight coaster. <laughs> That's what Caleb wanted, so we're gonna do it. There's an hour wait, so we're gonna get to skip an hour, which is nice. My stomach hurts. <laughs> Caleb, his stomach is killing him after eating that enormous snow cone and all that syrup. Oh. Don't don't be puking all over the Six Flags. This is the self-proclaimed cleanest park in America. I don't know about that, but that's what they say. Oh dear lord, we just rode the Dark Knight coaster. That coaster is going to the dogs because it's rough. That coaster is sponsored by Jack's Lynx because it's jerky. Oh my god, Caleb, what'd you think? I liked it. I never saw Joker in it. I mean, it's kind of fun, but it, you're just going, I mean, it, oh, I think I, I think I got whiplash. So, Great America, you'll be seeing my attorney. There's the balloons. We went on that before. A couple years ago. Here is, here's their super loop, the Mardi Gras hangover. It's about, God, twice the size of ours. I will say a little minor gripe about the park is it is hard to get from place to place because it's a big circle. So if you're at one end and you need to get to another end, there's no cut throughs. You have to like walk around the entire park to get there and the park is so large, it takes forever to get back and forth. But, I mean, I'm getting my steps in on my Fitbit, so I guess that's a good thing, right? Past Camp Cartoon, Mod Paws Trail Grub, and we're heading, Caleb, we're heading to the county fair. County Fair! Oh, it is taking forever to get to the back of this park. They have their Holiday in the Park sign up. It has got to be freezing here in December for Holiday in the Park. What do you think? Up here? Oh my god, it's got to be cold. It's cold in St. Louis. I can't imagine what the temperature is here. Alright, we're going to try American Eagle again. A lot longer wait now. When we came earlier, it was only like 10 minutes. And then it broke down. So, this is probably going to take about 30. Okay, we just did American Eagle. It took about 40 minutes. So it is now 3.20 and I wanted to leave by three. So, looks like our our time here at Great America is coming to a close. What'd you think about American Eagle? Woo! Fun ride, it's just, it's not as good without, without the uh, second train going at the same time. That's kind of what makes the ride, but it was still a good ride. That's in the Buccaneer battle. I completely forgot about this ride. I think Caleb's a little bummed we didn't do it. There's the, there's the Kraken. You can't get too close, they'll squirt us. Get him, Caleb, get him. It's not working. It's not working. <laughs> I think the only ride that doesn't have a long wait is the Demon, the worst ride in the park. All right, heading out of the park here. Back in hometown square, there's some kitty rides over there. There goes the Batman. There's Strutters where we ate last night. Our favorite place here. I'm gonna show Caleb this ride over here. It's called the Lobster. So why is this called the Lobster when there's an octopus? Well, there we go. Yeah. Oh man, I'm 
sick. To, I'm getting sick just looking at that. You want to go on? All right, let's no. wave goodbye. Can you wave goodbye? <laughs> he saluted. Yeah. Another awesome. great time at Six Flags Great America. Bye. We had an amazing time here at Six Flags Great America. Kayla, what was your favorite part? Everything. Everything. I, I loved it. Max Force was great. I mean, except the part where my stomach hurt yeah, a lot. Too much snow cone. Yeah! <laughs> but Max Force, that ride right here, that was great. We rode Goliath last night, that was great. Um, Raging Bull was great. I loved Raging Bull. The only thing we haven't really done is Superman and Flight. Sorry. But that's okay. We can always do that next time. Uh, we got a lot, of, lot in today, a lot in last night. We will see you next time from Gurney, Illinois. May the adventure continue. Like, subscribe, and blah, blah, blah. Have a, have a Six Flags day.